Hey there, MJ Traders and Investors. It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on The Pursuit of Wealth. It's Monday, July 25th. Hope you're well and hope you had a great weekend. In this video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to Tilray and Hexo. Did some videos over the weekend. A Power Group member brought this to my attention and a lot of us thought that the Schedule 13D meant that they actually converted, but that may not be the case. I did a quick video update last night letting everybody know that this may not have actually been the case and that I was still investigating and doing some research and shout out to everybody who pointed this out. I had quite a few people message me and say that Schedule 13D doesn't mean that they actually converted. It's just a type of customary filing that had to be filed. So we're going to dive into this and my thoughts and opinions on this. Before we get to it though, make sure to smash the like. It helps support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe and take the bell to be notified on any future videos. This is the video that I posted last night, late last night. It was just a short video urgent. Did Tilray convert Hexo debt to equity or is this because of a potential ownership in Hexo? And what sparked all of this was this article here from Fintel and this filing from Fintel. Tilray Inc. disclosed a stake in Hexo Corp. And they filed the 13D form with the SEC disclosing ownership of 564,235,830 shares of Hexo, which represents 48% ownership of the company. And that's what caught me uh, that's what made me believe that this was actually true and it wasn't just myself and and pow group members it was a ton of people online uh, you know on all socials and youtube and the comments and everything there was a ton of people who also took this as they actually converted and like i said shout out to those who reached out to me and and questioned that because i do believe that that you were correct that, that this doesn't mean that they actually converted and what do we know about the amount of shares. Well, the shares is fixed, right? Because if it's a conversion price of 40 cents Canadi uh, Canadian, then we know that the amount of shares is going to be fixed, right? So that is not entirely uh, what gives it away. But what gave it away for me was how do they know they were going to have 48% ownership of the company? Because if they didn't actually convert, the, the ownership and the percentage could change, right? Because what happens if they wait a year or two years and then the amount of shares go up? How can they say they own 48% of the company? But is that just like, uh, you know, for good measure? Is that just like what, you know, what the ownership would be if they converted on that day? You know, is this just a type of customary filing that they have to let the SEC know like, hey, hey guys and gals, like we, we took ownership or we could potentially have ownership in this company. And as of the day that we're filing, uh, this is what we would have in terms of ownership in the company. I think that's what's going on here. And if we go to the press releases from um, from Hexo's website, uh, you can see here from Global Newswire, Global Newswire, that uh, this was for the deal finalized on July 12th. And what's significant about July 12th and reminded me of this Schedule 13D form uh, Investopedia article is it says 13D must be filed within 10 days. And that's really what started make, to make me question, did they actually convert? Because what are the odds that they converted, right? Like right on, it's, it's filed within 10 days. So it doesn't actually mean that they had to, they could have converted it on, you know, on the fifth day. And then, you know, as long as it's done within 10 days, essentially. Um, but the fact that it, it just seemed too coincidental. And then if we go back uh, to this form here, the Schedule 13D, I'll just read what it means again for those who missed it, but it's a form that has to be filed with the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, when a person or group requires more than 5% of the voting class of a company's equity shares. The form must be filed within 10 days of the filer reaching a 10, uh, sorry, a 5% stake within 10 days. And Schedule 13D is also known as Beneficial Ownership Report. So when a person, key takeaways, when a person or group requires 5% or more of the company's voting shares, they must report it to the SEC. Among the questions, Schedule 13D, 13D ask is the purpose of the transaction, such as the takeover or merger. In this case, that's what it was. Uh, potential, um, you know, we could potentially see that. Um, if the beneficial owner's holdings change by 1% or more as well, they must amend their Schedule 13D. So if there's any changes in the amount of, of holdings, we'll, we'll see a, an update with regards to their 13D filing. But like I said, it was very misleading. It looked like they actually converted, but that doesn't look like it is the case. And you can see here, date of the event, which requires filing of this statement, July 12th. That's the date that the deal finalized. So this tells me they didn't actually convert. This is just them saying, hey, SEC, we're letting you know that we bought some convertible debt, some notes from Hexo's debt, and we now could potentially convert, which would give us that 564 million shares. And then what really gave it away, and this is from Tilray Investor Relations, 
and it says here, this is what gave it away, includes 564 million and change common shares issuable upon conversion. So if this, if they actually converted, this would say converted, not issuable upon conversion, right? The terminology is very important. And then it goes on to say here that it was based on the conversion price of 30 cents and change per common share, which is equivalent of Canadian 40 cents, assuming a CAD and USD exchange rate of 0 0.7683. So if they actually converted, why would you need to assume and why would you need to say issuable upon conversion, right? It's that terminology that really uh, that really stands out. And that, that's what convinced me that they didn't actually convert. Uh, so like I said, shout out to those who reached out to me and said that this might actually not, this might not actually mean that they converted uh, because I did do a deep dive and a little bit more uh, you know, research into that, and it doesn't look like they actually converted. And we'll we'll really find out when we see, you know, we'll see Hexo's share count if it actually went up. But personally, again, I, I said, you know, I could be wrong. I'm, I don't really care, to be honest, if I'm right or wrong. All I wanted to do is uncover the truth and then relay that to you guys, right? That's the whole uh, idea of Power Group is to filter out all the noise and to give you guys the most genuine and accurate information as possible. I do my best to give you my thoughts and opinions and my honest opinion, and that is honestly how I took it. And like I said, a lot of people in the Power Group community thought that this mean they converted as well, and like I said, a lot of people online, uh, on socials and on YouTube in the comments, they a lot of people thought so as well. But there was quite a few people, I would say about a handful of people that reached out and said that Schedule 13D doesn't mean they actually converted. It's just a type of customary filing that had to be done. And I think that is the case. So if you're wondering, Tilray actually didn't convert in my opinion. And that also has to do with why we haven't seen it in the news and, and things like that. So um, yeah, false alarm. We didn't actually, uh, we, we Tilray didn't actually convert Hexo's debt into equity, not yet anyways. It's possible, but it doesn't look like that is the case. And like I said, um, I'm, I'm okay with being wrong. I'm okay with being right. All I want to do is uncover the truth. But uh, once again, thanks to everybody who uh, pointed that out. All right, going to end it there. Thanks again for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Rod with Power Group. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you again on the next video.